Hey, I'm Craig, and today for the Surfboard Guide, we're gonna check out the Serial Killer by Superbrand Surfboards. So the serial killer I've been riding is a stock 5.5 and it comes in at 5.5 by 20 and a quarter by 2 and 9 sixteenths and exactly 31.5 litres. So the serial killer is a kind of classic fish design that's recently come out by Super Surfboards. Um, and I've been riding this thing for a while now. It's been a lot of fun across summer in Australia. So looking over the serial killer, um, it's got your pretty classic kind of fish design. It, it's very wide, it hides a lot of volume in a very wide outline that's held throughout the board right through the tail. Um, the rocker is nothing too aggressive, but I'll actually talk a bit more about that later, but it's fairly flat. Um, maybe a little bit more than your normal fishes, but nothing too aggressive. Um, flipping over the serial killer, it has a single concave that comes through the front. Um, I really can't feel too much at all. It feels really quite shallow. Um, a double that comes through the fins, you can feel that. And then it just has a V that kind of comes off the tail just for a bit of an easier rail-to-rail -rail transition. Um, so I got the Serial Killer quite a while back now and I've been surfing it across the Australian summer. So Australian summer, kind of average waves, a lot of like north wind swells on the east coast anyway, in the kind of knee high, like one foot or so, um, through to some good days or whatever, four foot or so kind of overhead. And I've surfed this in probably kind of everything between that. And it's been pretty epic. I'm a bit surprised, um, not that it went really well, but I was a bit surprised how it actually went. Because I guess uh, Superbrand with surfboards that are done by Sparrow, probably more known for his kind of performance shortboards. And I saw this as being a really kind of your traditional kind of fish, uh, you know, fairly flat, kind of a lot of fun, a lot of pace and a lot of kind of down the line speed, but not that kind of performance orientated. But he's actually kept, I think, a few things kind of from his performance shortboards uh, in this design, which has made it a lot more fun than those flatter kind of lo-fi fish designs. Um, I said the board is flat, but I actually feel like it's got a little bit kind of more lift through the um, nose, nothing too crazy. But actually in the tail, it feels like there's still like a kind of bit of lift and it might be that V that comes off the, the back, but you're actually able to jam this board and kind of get a bit more vertical um, and put a bit more through your turns and you would in your kind of normal fish design boards that are fairly flat. And like I said, a lot of fun with down the line pace and that, but they're a bit limited when that kind, kind of comes to that sort of stuff. Um, but this definitely was, wasn't. So um, I've surfed this thing um, in a whole bunch of conditions. I actually got it when I was up on the Gold Coast, uh, where Superbrand surfboards are in Australia. I was able to have a couple of really fun surfs out at Snapper Rock. So right hand point break, you know, really fun. Um, you can do multiple turns on a wave. And the thing was absolutely epic. Um, it holds a lot of volume in that outline. So getting across sections, getting into waves, uh, everything was really, really easy. And then actually when you would get a section, like I said, I feel like there's a tiny bit more rocker and it could just be that V off the tail, but there's a tiny bit more performance in this and there isn't those kind of traditional um, fish outlines that are really flat, especially through that tail and through the exit. So when you did get a section, you could still kind of jam it and do some of that more performance surfing. Uh, I'm no pro surfer or whatever, but you know what I mean? If I do get a section, I get a bit of speed and a bit of pace, I want to do my surfing to the best that I can. Um, and this definitely allowed that and it was a lot of fun. Uh, like I said, I surfed on the point breaks up there and then I came home to Sydney into some kind of average beach break conditions across summer. And this thing was epic, like little rip bowls, shore breaks, even some kind of better days at home. I took it in waves kind of four foot plus, so kind of overhead. Um, the thing was really good. Flipping over the serial killer and looking at the fins, um, I ended up with the K2s by Futures. Um, I tried a variety of fins in the serial killer. Um, I tried the K1s, which is a slightly larger keel template. And I also tried the, the Rastovich keel. And I also tried the Dave Rastovich. He has an upright twin. Um, and they all felt really good, but this felt perfect. I was actually a bit surprised because the K2 doesn't have a huge surface area and I'm quite heavy at around 90 kilos, um, but these were absolutely perfect. They had more than enough hold. Uh, they're quite a firm fin. Uh, they're a fiberglass fin, so they're quite firm. Um, and they had all the hold and drive that I needed, but you could also kind of get slide in and out of turns when you wanted to, but you still had all that control that you wanted. 
The serial killer is 31.5 litres. So in a general kind of performance shortboard, I'll generally ride between 29 and 30. So this sits at around two litres above my normal shortboards. Um, and going off the Superbrand website, it says to order them kind of two to four litres above. Um, and I think this is spot on. It gave me that little bit of extra foam that made surfing in really junky and average conditions really, really easy, but not too much foam that the board felt too big or too boaty and I couldn't control it when I wanted to kind of give it a little bit and do some good surfing on it. Uh, overall, it's been epic to check out the Serial Killer. It's been a lot of fun to ride and we've checked out quite a few different um, fishes and twin fins this summer. And this has definitely been one of my favourite. It has all those characteristics that you like of a fish with that, you know, that speed and that pace down the line. Getting into waves is really easy. Um, but just the way it's set up with the V out the tail and I think just a little bit more lift through the tail than other fishes um, allowed you to still kind of, you know, put some through your turns, you know, get a little bit more vertical if you got the opportunity um, and really enjoy your, your surfing. Um, when the waves lit up a little bit more, you got a section where you wanted to give it some. Uh, look, I've loved it and hopefully you get a chance to check one out. Thanks so much for watching.